right, let's learn how to install Lando today. So if you don't already have Lando on your computer, this is the way to get it. So over here on the right is the outline of what we'll talk about. I'd like to point out the docs page, which is docs.devwoodlando.io. And that's here, and that's all the documentation about Lando, and there's some great things to read there, and whatever you're interested in, uh, Backdrop, Laravel, Drupal 7, Drupal 8, uh, you can learn about all those things over here, including full customized uh, Lando setups. So if you, uh, to install Lando, click over here on this uh, system requirements, make sure your machine meets the requirements. The basics are a modern processor, uh, four gigabytes of RAM and five gigabytes of disk space. There's some additional Docker requirements that you can read about um, if you want to know the details of that. Click on pre-flight checks here. Um, in particular, I'd like to point out to Windows users that if you're using a virtual box, there's some additional instructions that you're gonna wanna follow in order to make sure Lando cooperates and lives side by side with that. Next, click on the installing link and it will tell you to come over here to GitHub and that's where we keep all our source code and our releases. So if you click on that link, um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna click the uh, release for, for my operating system, which is this beta 47 DMG. At the time of this video, the latest Lando is beta 47. So I'm gonna click on that and download it. And that'll take a minute. Great, that's all set. So go ahead and click on that and open that up. And you'll see that we have a Lando installer package. So we're gonna click on that, following along with our instructions here. And uh, I'll click continue here. And in this case, it's telling me that I already have Docker installed. So we recommend that you, uh, we package Docker with Lando. So we recommend that you keep the one that's packaged with Lando. But if you have Docker and you're using it for some things, you might want to keep your existing Docker, in which case you would go to customize and then uncheck this and it will only install Lando. For this video, I'm just going to do the standard install and allow Lando to install Docker for me. Enter in your password. And we're gonna not do this uh, Docker upgrade because we're gonna keep the version of Docker that's packaged with Lando. And up here you can see that uh, Docker is being installed. And in a few seconds we'll have an installation of Lando. Great, that's installed. So now we have Lando. We'll close out these things. See Docker is still starting up in the background here. That's okay. So the last thing we're going to do, that's it for installing Lando. We'll just install a quick example application of a LAMP stack. Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So if we do Lando version here, you see that we have uh, 3.0.0 beta 47. That's the latest Lando at the time of this video. And now in your terminal, uh, Lando is a command line tool. So the way to get started with any Lando app, if you're first starting it, is Lando init. And we want to choose a LAMP stack, so just a simple example. And where is the uh, web root of your application? That, we're just going to leave that for the current directory. And let's call this my LAMP stack. And that's it. And so what that does is creates this configuration file uh, .lando.yaml and that just stores the information about this application which is the answers to the questions we just asked. And we can of course extend that. Um, but right now I'm just going to make an index.php file and I'm going to do uh, php info it. So 
Now you start the app. Mando start. And that will spin up the Docker comp containers, which is uh, we, why we had to install Docker for Mac. Lando depends on Docker for Mac behind the scenes to create all these containers for us. And it's going to spin up the things that we need for a LAMP stack. So we're going to have an operating system. You can see it's spinning up a database service. And it will set up a app server with PHP inside of it so that we can run this application. It provides us with some URLs here. I'm going to use the HTTPS URL. You don't have to do that. You can use any one of those URLs. Um, and since that's a locally signed cert, we have to say that we trust it. And there you go. You see we have PHP version 7.1, and here's the output of the PHP info. Great. So that's installing uh, Lando and spinning up your first uh, example application. I encourage you to take a look at the documentation and look at some of these starting states that we have. In addition to if you want to make it completely custom, give Lando a try. Thanks for watching.